Good morning, Stephanie Cameraman, the Stock Whisperer, here with today's Daily Dark Pool Whisperer for June 24th. We are going to start with the SPY, yeah, opening down a little bit this morning. We are going to be bullish, only above 313. We're still stuck in this wedge, bearish below 308. If we do go down again, uh, let's go to the E-minis. We're going to be bullish above 31.10 and bear below 30.80. The Russell, we're going to be bullish above 143.75 and we're going to be bearish below 140.50. Right now things are in between. The Qs will be bullish above 251, bear below 247. Let's head on down to the NASDAQ futures. Bullish above 10,210, bear below 10,140. Let's go to the oil futures for August. Here we go. We're going to be bullish above 40. We had a, a big volume bar back here, so I'd like to be uh, bullish from here to here is going to be our bull trade. And we're going to be bare below 39.50. Yeah, let's see if we do go below there. And gold. Yeah, gold is crazy. Yeah, crazy, crazy prints are coming in. Um, we did come pretty close to 1800 let's see if we rev up again and we can hit that big level um bull above 1795 bear below 1785 for a retracement trade possibly for gold we had some pre-market prints that came in um on iau actually very rare we've been getting big prints but literally six million so far um, I just show you, just give me one second to show you these guys on the block trade indicator. Yeah, right here. And yeah, we've been getting massive prints. So definitely, um, you don't want to miss this gold trade. All right. I got a couple, couple of setups for you, but let's go to plug. Plug already hit my targets. I got this out as fast as I could this morning. It was my first whisper. So hope some of you guys grabbed it. It did go and hit um, R2. All right, so what do you do if the trade happened already? This is the, probably the most popular question I get asked. Well, you just line up another trade. Yeah, that's where learning how to do this yourself comes in rather than relying on me to do it for you every day. So um, watch this 720 level. Yeah, bull above 720, or if uh, it, it goes above this R2 level, your next trade setup is here. All right, going up to about 7.875. So two setups. You got this one, or you got this right there. Those are your highest probably trades. Moving forward for a plug. All right, let's go to American Airlines. American Airlines, bullish above 14, bear below 1360 for AAL. Let's go to NEO. Yeah, this is interesting. We traced all the way down to the uh, 8 EMA, right? So what's it going to do? Well, I have a bear trade below 7. There was a buyer at 690 this morning. He's still there. That's why my target 691. Yeah, let's see if he's still there. But he was pretty big. Had a tough time picking these levels. Yep, he is. He's still here. See him? Yep, you want to get out before him. If it goes below 690, look out below. Yeah, that guy's holding up the ship right now. So let's go to AT&T. Um, yeah, interesting volume this morning. Does it normally have a lot of volume? That's why it made the list. Uh, bullish above 30.40. It's 
It's more of a swing trading stock for us when we get the big prints, but it's rare that I find it on the uh, top 20 list early. So bear below 29.75, I did see a buyer at 30. Yeah, so I picked that 75 level. I didn't want anybody to get splashed, um, but not a bad level to enter, but you really have to know what you're doing. Yep, wait for the second test. Yeah, so it did the, it kind of did a first test. Actually, decent volume. Let's see. Yeah, I, I actually like the 30 level. Up, oh, see, there's a big buyer. Look at this. Yeah, that's, that's why I went a little bit lower. I want to make sure this guy doesn't hold it up if, if you're going to go short. So he's still there. Uh, let's go to the next one, CCL. Bullish above 17.75 and bearish below 17 for CCL. NCLH, yeah, the cruise ships are voluminous this morning. Uh, bullish above 18, bear below 17 for Norwegian. Yeah, we've gone down there and tested it already. We'll see if it can hold up. Let's go to Wells Fargo. Bullish above 27.75 and bear below 26.80 for Wells Fargo. Yeah, I like the setup today. Looks good on the short side there. Uh, BAC also, uh, bull above only 25, bear below 24. 25. I want this guy to go below all the prints. We had a print 24.45. Yep, if we go below that 25 level, look out below for Bank of America. Let's head on to GDX. Yeah, bullish above 35.78. Not my favorite level, but I kind of had to pick it today. I'll show you why because of this. Yeah, there's been selling quite a few times this morning. Here and here. Yep, so the last eighth, not my favorite trade, but that's where I would enter. We would most likely go like this, pull back, and then go like this, and do one of those things. So that would be the best entry to watch just using the levels this morning. We are above all the dark pool prints. So it is bullish, but it could be a little bit shaky there. Uh, bear below 35.40 for a retracement trade. F, S, L, Y. Had a lot of pre-market volume this morning. Looks like an evening star uh, pattern, possibly. We have a green candle, then we have a massive volume up thrust yesterday through a major level. At one point, this candle was bright green, right? It was filled, it looked amazing. Oh yeah, we're breaking through the 80 level. Yep, this is the Wyckoff up thrust. Yep, it's a false breakout. And then all of a sudden the sellers come in and knock it down. We'd really have to close above 81.75 to be uber bullish once again. Um, if not, yeah, there's definitely some sellers there. Uh, bear below 74. For retracement down to the four EMA is your first trade for the retracement. Let's go to GLD. GLD bullish above 167.25. We had big print yesterday at 166.33. We'll see if we can hold above that today. Bear below 166. So there you have it. These are your whispers for June 24th. Until next time, happy trading, everybody.